What's pop like and dropping, honeys? It's your girl Mladi the day checking in with you. So today is Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. Let me show you, girl. Yeah. Sugar baby, sugar baby. Nice whip, nice crib, nice. Crib. I want this. I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. Hey, hey, y'all. What's pop like and dropping? It's your girl Melaja today. Welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, I'm going to be showing y'all what it's like to be a sugar baby running multiple businesses. I'm not technically a sugar baby anymore because I don't post up on websites and I don't see guys the way I used to in the past. I am monogamous right now seeing one person. So I'm not technically a sugar baby anymore, but as you all know, I do get very well taken care of by my man. So... That's the reason why I said sugar baby running multiple businesses because that's how all of you know me is because I used to be a sugar baby. And even though I'm not technically a sugar baby anymore, that doesn't mean that I won't stand by, you know, what I believe in or how I feel like a woman should be treated. But I do have multiple businesses now. I have a hair business, Sugar Baby Hair, where I make my handmade wigs handcrafted by me. And I have a handcrafted skincare line, Punani Box. I have a lip gloss line, Sugar Baby Kisses. My clothing line is going to be like Marilyn Monroe, mixed with a little bit Mariah Carey, mixed with some Madonna. So it's going to be classy, sexy, edgy. Yes, so that's what the Sugar Baby closet is going to be like. And yes, honey. So it is definitely, I love running multiple businesses because I am on my journey to becoming a billionaire. I've heard, I feel like I've already come across a million dollars. Becoming a millionaire would be easy. So I'm focused on becoming a billionaire right now go big or go home so if y'all want to see what it's like to be in the life of a sugar baby who's running of an ex sugar baby that's running multiple businesses keep watching what's pop lock and dropping honeys i want to give a shout out to casey the owner of love light body wear a luxury body wear brand she sent me this piece along with a very sweet thank you note i really appreciate the sweet words and it's also gold my favorite color i love it she sent me a one-piece nude body suit, which is cut out in the middle. It's very stretchy. The fabric is very nice. It's cut out in the back, which I really love. It's very easy to wear underneath your clothes. And it also comes with a padded bra, so you can have a little bit of a push-up. I really love the way that they designed the private area part. It comes with three latches and three different settings because as you know, we are all built differently and some of us need a little more room than others. It also comes with clear straps so you can have a little bit more support. You can check out their website. All of the details will be in my description box along with a discount code so you can go get you a little percentage off. I know that's right, girl. And she has over 91 five-star reviews which is really good. That means a lot of ladies are purchasing from her and they're loving their product. So go check them out. Let them know that Melijah sent you. Go get that money, honey. So I just got done filming my Get Ready With Me and promoting my Duval straightener, which you can get for 70% off. Um, definitely go check that out. It's a $195 straightener and you can get it for 70% off. So it's like $58 or something like that. I'm about to go and get some orders ready at my warehouse and then I'm gonna go um, hang out with a friend. Let's go, honey. So I'm here at my warehouse where I store all of my products for my store. Um, my warehouse is climate controlled so I don't ever have any issues with my products. And if you haven't before seen what my um, warehouse looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. Looking like I got my studio lights. My light bulb went out so I'm gonna get I already have another one, I just have to put it in there. And then of course I have all of this. I have some stuff under the table. And I have these here. My wig heads, excuse the trash. I need to get a little trash can in here. But I have just some um, paper there that I need to throw away. My wig heads, some cartons for my products, bow mailers, bow wrap. USPS mailing, we have more mailing boxes, and we have the um, peanut packaging, for like the peanuts for the packaging, some inventory, and cartons, shipping boxes, and then this up here is, it's, a, it's for, your, for a backdrop if you want to take pictures, 
but I'm using it to store my to put my hair. So these are hair, these are extension hangers for me to put my extensions on when my hair comes in in the mail. It'll be here soon. I'll we'll probably put that Santa hat to use for Christmas time. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to work because I have some stuff to do. So right now I'm going to I have some labels. Well first I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my business cards. As you can see now I have these pieces of paper laying on my work table. They are actually labels. All of them are labels. So I have a label printer. You probably see me do that at my crib. So on the back of all of these labels, hold on, put it over here so you don't see no addresses. On the back of these labels, I have abbreviations. So the abbreviations basically are, of course, what they ordered. So she ordered a Punani machine, Punani machine in piece, and a silk refill bottle and then this lady here she ordered a passion fruit this lady ordered passion fruit an in piece and a refill silk potion toner and cleanser bottle so yeah on the back i have the abbreviations of what everyone has ordered and so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay out everything that they ordered by their labels. She got a passion fruit in peace and then she got silk potion toner and cleanser. So for my skincare line, I of course have these kind of bottles here. This is my potion. This is my toner. I also have a... I also have a silk moisturizer and a cleanser. You can go check those out on my website at melijahsboutique.com. Now, of course, because my bottles are metal, they last for a really long time, so it would be pointless to just keep ordering more. So I came out with refill bottles. Of course, all of them are sent to you in the milliliters of the bottle that you ordered. So if you ordered a toner, you'll get a 30 milliliter um, syringe of the toner. And then, of course, silk moisturizer, you'll get a 50 milliliter of the silk moisturizer. And all you have to do is put it in the bottle and squeeze it on out. And of course, because they have caps, they don't come off at all. You see, I'm pushing it it's not gonna come off so she ordered some refills so refill here so refill here look at my neck bright i get that check right i'm so blessed right off of that jet pipe off of that. so in order to protect everyone's products i got me these cartons for my toners moisturizers astringents cleansers all of that i'm also going to get some cartons for my scrubs that way i could just put them in the cartons put them in the box put some peanuts and i'll send them off and i'll know that they'll be fine and i got different sizes And in the cartons, in order to make it a little bit more festive, I also put some of this crinkle paper inside of the cartons. Y'all know that I love gold, so I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of gold crinkle paper. <laughs> I'll put some gold crinkle paper in there like this, and then I'll put the product. And then I'll put their product in there. Just like that and that one's ready to go hey hey y'all so I just locked up my warehouse and I got done putting all of my products in their carton boxes I'm gonna come by tomorrow and start um, sorting out all of my thank you cards all of my instruction cards my instruction cards are of course to instruct everyone how to use my skincare line that way you'll get the proper results 
and then I have my thank you card that I make myself and I ran out so I have to go home and actually make some tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to put them all in the boxes and I'm also going to put all the products inside of the shipping boxes and get all of the protective you know peanut packaging and all of that inside of there so that way there's no problems with people's package um, and then on Friday I'll do that tomorrow today's Wednesday tomorrow will be Thursday and then on Friday I will ship off my orders I do a little bit all throughout the week that way by the end of the week I'll be on time with all of my shipments and I won't um, I won't have much to do I won't be overwhelming myself so right now what time is it it is 8 35 I'm gonna go ahead and get me something to eat cuz I'm hungry as fuck So right now I'm printing out some of my business, well, these are my thank you cards. I have my business cards, my thank you cards, and my instruction cards. These are my instruction cards here. It shows you how to use, the, well, what the Punani machine does for you. So this is what the Punani machine does for you. This is your front and your back vaginal for, fornix. Of course, some of us, stop. Of course, some of us have a little bit of buildup of white or just whatever, even whenever you get off your period. So that's what the Punani machine is really good for, is cleansing you out. And then on the back side, I have my skincare steps, numbers one through seven for all of the skincare products that I have in stock. And then for my thank you cards I designed these thank you cards myself as well I pretty much design everything by myself and do everything myself just because you know I'm awesome like that but these are my thank you cards and then on the back of them I would show you but it has a discount code on the back so I'm gonna show you but I'm gonna cover up the discount code but it has a discount code there it says keeping bitches salty it has the pretzel symbol so yeah you pretty much get the point and I'm pretty much done printing these off. That one's done. I need to do this one. And then, yeah, I have only one more left to go. So I put it in here. And then the printer that I am, the printer that I'm using as an Epson printer, it is eco-friendly. So all of the ink that I'm using to print out my business cards, thank you cards, and my instruction cards, it's all eco-friendly ink. So you know your girl's trying to save the universe verse. <laughs> I'm trying to save the universe, girl. You get the point. But I'm just chilling, drinking on some of my Sutter Homes. My I got my hair in today for Sugar Baby Hair. I would have showed y'all me unboxing it, but of course, you know, your girl was moving fast, so I didn't get to show y'all. But I will take y'all with me to my warehouse tomorrow as I hang up all my extensions on the hangers and start getting everything ready and i also am going out of town here soon so i'm gonna also show y'all how a baddie travels when she's going out of town honey you don't want to miss it but yeah i know this is some cheap wine but hey you know it's only thursday so let me do what i do and then we got papa cairo in the mix hey papa what's pop like and dropping daddy so it's friday and I feel really lonely right now because all my friends are out of town and they're just not here with me. So I feel really lonely right now, but it'll get better. And I'm headed to go drop off some orders right now. And I'm also gonna spend the day with myself because I need a lot, I have a lot I have to do before I go out of town this Sunday. I'm getting flown out on Sunday to go see my baby. Um, so I need to redo my hair because I honestly don't want my hair like this. I feel like I always have my hair like this. And it's just so boring at this point. So today I'm going to spend the day with myself since none of my friends are in town. I'm going to take these extensions out. They're glue-ins. I'm kind of mad at myself for even doing this because I told myself that I wasn't going to do glue-ins anymore because it just makes my, it just, it's really, it's, it's an issue to get out. But once you put the glue-ins in, you really gotta let them fall out because it just, ooh. 
child it be doing too much okay like it's too much glue and just issues just to get the shit out of your hair so I'm gonna stop and get me some conditioner to help me get it out so but I'm gonna do that tonight though I'm gonna do my hair and my lashes tonight then I gotta bathe Cairo because Cairo's coming with me on the plane. I got this cute carrier from Amazon. I'm gonna show y'all when I get back home to put him in. It's like got cushions on the side and everything. It's gonna be really, really nice for him. Um, so yeah, he's coming and I gotta get him bathed. Oh my goodness. Look at this traffic, honey. Look at this traffic. I just want to get to my warehouse. I could drop some stuff off. Honestly, should have left a long time ago. But I've just been, I haven't really been feeling myself today just because I have a lot going on. You know, my business, with the YouTube, with personal. Just a lot of stuff going on that I have to get done. And it's just sometimes frustrating. So, yeah. But everything's definitely going to work out for the better i'm i need to hurry and go drop these orders off so i can have that done with so yeah once i drop these orders off everything gonna fall into place i'm drinking me a little bit i'm gonna get me some wine i'm gonna start drinking on me a little bit of wine so yeah honey and I'm also, I want to go shopping. Well, I actually went shopping already, but I want to go shopping some more and get some cute clothes. Because I know where I'm going is going to be really, really cold. So I want to get me some cute jackets, outfits, shoes, the whole shebang. Oh, grr. So, girl, yeah. So girl summer walker just dropped her album and i'm trying to listen to it with y'all but you know i can't do that because i'm gonna get demonetized so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna listen to the album and y'all gonna watch me clean up you feel me and we gonna just listen to it in your head all right because my crib is a little bit of a mess honey check it out i just got done making some punani machines over here we got mess up under here we got my dogs who stank and smell like straight ass. And then, you know, we got mess over here. Girl, what the fuck is this? And then, what else we got over here? We got a wagon full of shit that needs to come out of, out of there. Lots of promotion stuff, by the way. You know, I got TTDI. We're going to be promoting just for Cairo. We're going to be promoting. Somebody sent me a BBL bed. A shapewear you know it's just a whole hot mess over here what's up babies and you know what's how i'm gonna drop it and then we got amara over here hey mara what's up girl are you alive is you alive girl you alive mara when you take up a walk i know she tired what is up with the wall girl what have you done over here the fuck girl so, Big Mama's getting a little old, so I'm gonna hurry up and clean up so I can go take her for her a walk here later, you know what I mean? Because she needs to get a little exercise. And I'm probably even gonna go, to, gonna go work out in the gym and take her with me and get on the treadmill because she's getting older. She's only seven, though. She's not that old. But yeah, honey. And I also told y'all that I'm going out of town and that I, Papa Cairo's coming with me. So I got him this cute ass carrier by her, girl. I got him this cute carrier here. It's got like nice padding in there. It's really cool because it comes with a its own water bowl. All you gotta do is like, wait, oh, right here. So you just push it in, see? It comes with its own little water bowl. And I also really, really like these zippers because they come out like, it's like a little home, like, they all come out. I freaking love it. Like, it gives him space to do his little thug fizzle. And the other side comes out also. Because my friends that I'm taking him to, of course, don't have a dog bed. So I was like, this, I'm going to get me a good one. And I was like, this will be his dog bed. So it comes out there like that. And of course, he can stick his head out through here. And this one even comes out also. Oh, wait. Hold on. So 
this one comes out too, just like that. And then of course you come out from this side or this side, or you even unzip it here for them to come out. But I really, really love this bed. I got it off Amazon. So if you want to travel on the plane with your dog, I definitely recommend getting this. It is TSA approved. And yeah, girl, what's popping? <laughs> Let's listen to the Summer Walker album and clean up. Hold on, I need to go get a bottle of wine. Hey honeys, so I just got back from taking my dogs on a walk around the block and the crib is clean finally. Um, I cleaned my restroom, I cleaned my room. I just need to buy a new vacuum because my vacuum broke. So I gotta buy a new one. But other than that, it's a boring night. All of my friends are out of town and it's cold and I'm ready to go see my baby. I cannot wait to leave Sunday. So I could be around some good love. But other than that, I'm not doing nothing. I'm about to get in the shower and wash my extensions out, I believe. Because I don't have any plans. And then tomorrow, I need to... My balcony stinks. It smells like straight piss. Because my dogs have been peeing on the grass, obviously. So thankfully, I have a carpet shampooer. So tomorrow, I'm going to go through and champ carpet shampoo the grass you know it's fake grasses um so yeah i'm gonna carpet shampoo it because it smells really bad like it's protruding like it's an aroma of piss really really bad so i'm gonna go and clean that up tomorrow take my dogs a bath 
I may or may not do my hair tonight. So if I don't do my hair tonight, tomorrow I'm going to do my hair and my lashes. And then just chill. And I'm also going to pack. I got to get packed up. And I can't wait to show you all the stuff I bought. I went to Forever 21 and Zara. Honey, I didn't even know that Forever 21 had cute clothes like that. Like they had literally everything that I needed at Forever 21. And I have to go to Zara. I'm actually probably going to go to Zara tomorrow and return these leather pants. So Zara does not carry normal sizes. They carry they carry skinny bitch sizes like they're extra small smalls medium largest extra large is just not what it is like so i usually a small or medium and girl tell me why i got a large because i know that their sizes run small so i got a large and it still didn't fit so in zara's clothes i'm an extra large it's frustrating so i'm gonna return those pants i'm honestly not even gonna get any pants from zara because i just feel like zara is not made for curvy women that's how i feel because their clothes just be the sizes run way too small it's just not what it is so yeah that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow but i'm gonna check with y'all here later What's pop like and dropping, honeys? It's your girl Blood of the Day checking in with you. So today is Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. Let me show you, girl. Gorgeous day. So it's the day before I'm about to go out of town. I'm about to pack up here later. My friend Bob invited me to some girl's lash party. She's having a little lash party, which is really cute. She's Nigerian, so I'm definitely probably gonna go. So I can support, you know, and hand out some of my business cards. And But before I go, I'm going to carpet shampoo my balcony like I told y'all yesterday. So my balcony smells like straight piss because it's grass. My dogs be peeing on the grass. And so I'm going to go ahead and use my carpet shampoo right here to get it all cleaned up and smelling nice before I leave because I do have somebody that's going to wash my dogs watch my dogs and i don't want him coming over here and he's gonna leave the door open so they can let themselves in and out um but i don't want him to be smelling that that's embarrassing so i'm going to clean that then i got to take papa cairo a bath and get him groomed up because he is going on the airplane with me and he was a representation of me and he ain't gonna be looking all scruffy so yeah let's go ahead and do that and if y'all have any suggestions of what i can use on my balcony other than my carpet shampooer to get that smell to go away or just to like you know put it on there throughout the week because they do pee out there definitely let me know in the comment section i'm gonna check in with y'all once i'm done hey honeys what's pop like and dropping i'm checking in with y'all check out my little fit that i wore today it's really cute i have some really cute um cheetah heels with it i got this top from zara this top from forever 21 and the tights from forever 21 as well they are very very fitted i love them so much and they go really really good with the jacket i love this jacket it's so cute so tomorrow is the big day i am going out of town to go see my baby and i'm so excited about it i look so white it's crazy but yeah, so I'm about to take Papa Cairo bath, bathe him, groom him, all that, pack and lay down, go to sleep and wake up in the morning and get the fuck out of here because I need some TLC and I'm ready to go. And I can't wait to show y'all all the clothes that I'm packing. This is also one of the outfits that I'm taking with me. I barely wore it for a couple hours, so it's not dirty or anything like that. But I'm, of course, I'm not going to wear it tomorrow, but I'm just going to take it just in case I want to wear it again because it's very cute with the jacket. So yeah, I'm going to check in with y'all here soon, honey. Sit down, Camila, get down. He looks really, really cool. But yeah, I just got done giving him a haircut, getting ready to leave in the morning. Super excited about it. I'm ready to see my baby. Daddy, look at the puppy. <laughs> hey, hey, honey. So I just got done bathing my dog, Cairo. He looks so cute. Let me show you. Puppy.
And man, y'all, I'm so mad about tonight. Like, okay, so I took my camera to the event, this event, right? And I made sure I got good pictures for everyone. Like, they didn't have to pay me. I was just offering, like, ooh, you want me to get you some pictures for your, you know, with your product or whatever? But when it comes time for me to get a decent picture, literally, I got one good picture. I'm really upset about it because I'm like, I take the time to make sure you have a good picture. Why can't you take the time to make sure I have a good picture and I look good? Why my head cut off? Why my whole head cut off? Half my head cut off, my whole head cut off. I'm not even ready in most of them. Like, I'm not taking, no. I deleted all the pictures for them. They asked me, they said, hey, can you send me them pictures? They accidentally got deleted. I'm sorry. I purposely deleted all of them. I'm not sending you no pictures because you couldn't even take a decent picture of me. Why would I send you the pictures, all the good pictures I took of you? Them deleted and gone. You're not ever going to see them again. Next time I ask you to take a picture, take a good one. And maybe you'll get the good pictures that I took of you. But until then, no. So, sorry, I'm just really irritated. So we're here in my closet. This is my closet looks like. It's a little messy. So here I don't have too much clothes y'all because I'm pretty sure y'all if you follow me you've seen in my last vlog that I gave away a lot of my clothes I donated them to the Salvation Army so this is what I have left and I'm honestly just going to throw this is my suitcase that I'm taking with me I got it from Walmart for like 80 bucks some girl tried to come for me like she was like how you get all that money and your suitcase looks like that like it gets thrown around everywhere what am i supposed to get like a, a gold suitcase like a titanium like am i supposed to get a louis vuitton like why do i gotta have a good suitcase to impress a bum ass female watching my channel come on now get it together honey get it together so anyways i'm gonna show y'all all right y'all so i'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that i'm gonna take with me to, on my trip so I got this jacket here from Forever 21. I freaking love it. It's a poof jacket. It's got the Lino bandana symbols and it was only $39.99. It's going to be really cold where I'm going. So I'm taking this jacket. And then I'm pairing it with this shirt that i also got from forever 21 this shirt was 14.99 and it's really really tight fitted and i'm gonna wear it with some black tights black tights with that and then i'm gonna wear my i'm going to wear these black boots here trust me girl i know these boots are kind of like a little ugly but um well they're not ugly ugly they're just like you know not like very too edgy but i like them they decent you know they just black boots i gotta get me some new black boots yeah so that's outfit numero uno and my second outfit i cannot wait to show y'all it's really 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 cute girl so honey i got this cute plush pink coat from forever 21 it is how much it is it's $59.99 from Forever 21. I freaking love it. And then I'm pairing it. I'm pairing it with this top and these bottoms. They're long pants. I freaking love them. So I bought these shoes from Steve Madden. Love, right? They were like $109. I've been wanting these forever so so cute i'm pretty sure y'all have seen these in steve madden's store so i'm pairing them with these shoes my third outfit is going to be this jacket here that y'all see me have on earlier um this jacket was 69.90 from zara and i'll be pairing it with this chocolate pant one i don't know how to say it let me just show y'all the logo so this pan one pant one forever 21 but this is i love this this um this set because the top is really thick and then i love how it's like has the lines in it you know gives it that nice little chic look 
and then I'm gonna also be wearing the chocolate pants also with more than likely my cheetah um, with these cheetah boots that I got a long time ago from a thrift store I got these from a thrift store like probably five years ago and I've just always hung on to them because they're freaking awesome they remind me of Lady Gaga so I love these I can't tell you what brand they are what would just say oh Liliani Liliani yeah I'm pretty sure y'all heard of that Liliani these are Liliani shoes so I'm a size 10 for my dinner outfit my dude wants me to bring a nice dress because we're going on a nice dinner date so I decided I decided to pull out this gown here it's, it's super long as you can see love it really really long dress and then I like the back because the black back has this nice slit in it and then of course it's long sleeve so you know it looks you know it's cold out so that goes perfect Oop. to match my dress I'm gonna be wearing these shoes here I think these are also from Liliana oh Liliana so that's how you say it Liliana if you can see it right there I'm gonna be wearing these mermaid blue he heels that I bought a long time ago also I've never worn them as you can see they have never been worn I freaking love them though they are so cute for my airport outfit honey don't get me started now y'all know I like to dress okay honey so where I'm going is gonna be it's really cold in the morning so I got this fur coat from forever 21 for 70 4.99 honey i don't know how this coat is cheaper than the pink or this coat is cheaper than wait which coat oh never mind never mind this is the most expensive coat wait no i bought something else that was 74 something this one was 69.90 this one is my Never mind. I thought it was the least expensive, but this was actually the most expensive coat that I got. I love the color. It's like a nice tan and then it's really, really long. Super, super long coat. I have bought this for Philly. I was supposed to go to Philly, but my flight got canceled. So, honey, now let me tell you, I'm pairing this jacket with a nude top. and matching sweats all from forever 21 so it's going to be the new top sweats with the jacket and the shoes that i'm going to be pairing with it move papa and i'll be pairing it with these shoes here that i got from I actually got these shoes from Ross. I remember now. I got these shoes from Ross. They were probably about like 30 bucks. Freaking love them. So yeah, these will go with it. That's going to be my airport outfit. So I'm actually not going to pack this outfit. I'm going to leave it on my chair. Then <laughs> my dude wants me to bring my Halloween costume. Because honey, he trying to, you know you know if you know what i'm talking about you know we try to do a little you know with the halloween costume on you know so i'm taking my halloween costume with the lingerie and the wings or whatever because we want to have a little bit of fun you know be a little a little intimate freaky moment if you know what i mean girl so yeah so i'm taking my halloween costume i'm taking the wings <laughs> if you've seen my halloween costume in my last vlog you already know what i had on so i'm taking the lingerie with the nets the hat this thingy that i had on and my wings we're gonna have a little bit of fun girl those are my three my four outfits that i went shopping for and i wanted to show y'all i also got some other stuff from zara but i learned that zara sizes are they run small so I had got these leather jeans from Zara, but um, 
they don't fit. They're a large. They don't fit. I guess in Zara, Zara, I'm an extra large when it comes to their pants like this. But at the end of the day, I'm not buying any more pants from Zara. I just, I figured Zara is not for curvy women. Zara is more for like a petite, slim type of woman. And girl, I got this wagon back here. So, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not petite. So, yeah, I'm going to finish packing. Get me on some hookah. And relax and go to sleep because I have to wake up early. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.